Hey everyone, so I've had the PlayStation Vita for about a month now, and the big question that everyone has on their mind is, is it worth it, okay? Is it worth the $300 for the system? Is it worth the $40 for each of the games? And my, my answer to that, no. <laughs> but it's worth it to me. You know why? Because I didn't spend $300 on the system. I didn't spend $40 bucks on, on all the games. I won I, I an auction on eBay, got it for $100 and... Let's see, 163 plus like $10. Let's, let's, let's round it up to $175. For $175, yes, it's worth it, okay? And for like $15 a game, yes, that's worth it, okay? Now, let's see what games I have. We got the only first person shooter at the moment. It's like July 2012, right? There's not a lot of games for the system right now, which is a big. Another reason why it's not worth it now. But I, can, I, I saw the list of games that will be released, and I have to say, after 2012, uh, there's plenty of games to make the system more worth it. But right now, first person shooter, this is like the only one, man. The first and only. Resistance Burning Skies. Uh, it's a nice game. Uh, lots of touch screen involvement. Okay. Uh, another thing I don't like is that the cutscenes are way too long. <laughs> and you can't skip them. Um, but, you know, it's not the only first person shooter on the system. Here's my game collections, by the way. You can get Medal of Honor Heroes on the PlayStation Store. And, and there's other games. Okay, You can get the, the second one, too. Um, but when it comes to games, uh, I don't know, the, the PSP Mini uh, Nova, okay? You can get that, but if you're a first-person shooter type person, you're not going to be very happy with the PS Vita because there's not a lot of games. This is like the fourth time I bought the Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, two and three, anyway. I bought the original Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater. I bought Substance of Subsistence. I bought the HD collection for PS3. And here I have the, the Vita version. Okay? And, you know, there's, this game needs no introduction. It's good. Okay? No complaints. And you get double trophies. If you have the PS3 version, then you get this version, you get two uh, trophies all over again. Okay? That's, that's to your list. Little Deviants has a maybe comes comes with a system for a lot of people. Um, a bunch of mini games. They're actually not that bad. Uh, helps time pass through and uses a bunch of the interfaces, the touch screen, the six axis controls, stuff like that, you know. Dungeon Hunter Alliance, out of all this games right here, <laughs> it's kinda of funny to say that this is my favorite one. Uh, it has a great multiplayer. I met some friends on there already and uh, it's like a Diablo clone, but I never played Diablo. If I had to say, compare to any game uh, that's very similar to it, um, I have to say that uh, it's very close to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Okay, the gameplay is very similar. It's an action RPG, uh, hack and slash sort of game, okay? So, out of that, uh, <clears throat> I have a good impression of games for the PlayStation Vita. By the way, I got the 3G version. It comes with an 8 gig card. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, some problems I have with games is that you have to use touch screen. Okay? A lot of games, like, like the Metal Gear Solid Collection, they made R2 from the game the touch screen. Okay? So if you want to press R2, you know, open up your menus and stuff like that, you touch the screen. Okay? <laughs> A lot of games, you have no choice. Sometimes you have to choose, but you have to touch the screen sometimes for some games. Anyway, another thing I have a complaint with is the size of the system. It, this thing's freaking huge, okay? Here is a DVD, Batman Year One, okay? This thing is big. There it is compared to the, compared to a DVD, okay? Compared to the original PlayStation Portable, yeah, it's uh, pretty big. Pretty big system. You gotta have some big pockets just to carry it around with you, okay? Takes up a lot of space in your pockets, your backpack, your purse, whatever, you know. Uh, screen protector's already on. This guy's, uh, I added this part, but the you know, armor is there. The armor is real nice, by the way. This is the Nerf armor. It's very cushiony, very nice in your hand. You can hold three games, and if you want to use the touchpad, which you rarely would use, by the way. I don't see... I got four games here, and none of them really use the touchpads. Or if they do, it's not 
a, a huge requirement, if you know what I mean. But there it is. Um, okay. Uh, what do I not like about the PlayStation Vita so far? Here's a couple things. This is a nice interface. It's cute. Okay. Scroll through them like this. Now, here's what I see a problem in the future. Okay. All your icons show up on here. See, on my phone, the icons I want on the uh, the the wallpaper, uh, that's it. Okay. And if I want to see the rest of my uh, applications and stuff like that, the stuff I installed, that can go in there. Okay. This one, every icon, everything that's installed is on the live area. Okay. I have five dots now. I can see in the future there will be like. 50 pages I have to scroll through. Imagine that. Okay. Every icon, everything that's installed is on the live area. This screen that you see here. Okay. Um, the camera's very weak. I don't have to explain that. 0 0.3 megapixels. It's not that huge. Okay. Um, you can't record videos uh, in widescreen. But, you know, if you need a camera, there it is, you know. You can switch to the front. Hello. Regular. Hello. Widescreen. There. See? Yeah. So, about the icons thing, I, it would be nice, like, you go through this. Like, there would be a folder, right? There would be a folder on here. And then, like, it'll say all the games, action games, okay? So I click on action games, and I can scroll through. Like, like, like that, you know, scroll through all the smaller icons and stuff like that. Hopefully they do that in the future. If you're probably wondering what this is, it's activity from friends, okay? Other people, apparently, are like, uh... Apparently, I have only one guy, <laughs> I'm one of my friends, oh, there it is. There's another guy who's playing this game. Anyway, that's friend activity. Okay. Um, what else do I do not like about the PlayStation Vita? Oh, um, my PSP, you can plug it in, there's a cable that you plug in here, and you put it, play, you can, you can play it on the TV. You can't do that with the Vita, there's no HDMI port or anything like that. Um, hopefully they consider that in the future, being able to put this onto the TV screen, you know? But right now, we can't really do it. Unfortunately, I do notice that some games, uh, I'm looking at the list of games that will come out. I say after 2012, you're pretty much set with good games. But right now, there's not, there's not a lot of stuff to play on the PlayStation Vita. Because um, right now, it's not a lot, okay. But I, I see that Bioshock's going to have a port or something like that. And call, there's going to be a Call of Duty game and stuff. I, I'm into first-person shooters, okay. If you have to... <laughs> Check out the first person shooter collection, okay? Here we go. We got um, we got the Bioshock game, Duke Nukem up there, all the Resident Evil games, all the Call of Duty games right there. We got all of the Medal of Honors and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? If you want to know, there's Battlefield and Kill Zone and stuff like that. Take a, take a look at that. I'm looking forward to the new Splinter Cell, by the way. I got all the Splinter Cell. Anyway. Enough showing off. <laughs> Thank you for watching. People who have questions, anything, let me know. Okay. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.